cute. Okay. All right. This is called Cutie Bear, the new Christmas story. And this is from 1955. It was the afternoon of the night before Christmas. The north wind whined and blew no good. He was angry because there was so little for him to blow around at the North Pole, only ice and snow. And then suddenly he spied a little baby polar bear with big blue eyes and a little pink nose and fur as fluffy and white as the Christmas snow. He was lost and shivering with the cold. Here was something more fun to blow than snow, to blow hither and thither and yawn. Whee, said the north wind. He blew that little lost bear hither and thither and thither and hither, and he couldn't quite blow him to yawn. With one last unfriendly whoosh, he blew him into a snowbank and left him there. Santa's reindeer were out dancing and prancing and practicing for their trip through the sky. Blitzen saw something that made his mouth water, a delicious looking pink gumdrop in the snow. <laughs> Down he went, he sniffed and nibbled. He licked it with his tongue. Imagine his surprise when the little bear sat up and said, don't do that, I'm cold. <laughs> well, said Blitzen, if your nose didn't look like a gumdrop, we wouldn't have found you. Come on, we'll take you home. I haven't one. No home, not any. In that case, said Blitzen, hop on my back and we'll take you to Santa Claus. Long before the reindeer returned, Santa was ready to go. The sleigh was packed, the toys were stacked in a heap, dolls and trains and horns and games were ready in the sleigh. Ho, ho, said Santa. Now there, where are, where are those reindeer? We're late. If we don't get started on time, somebody will get a present, not get a present. And those chimneys, how they slow me down. Either chimneys are getting smaller or I'm getting bigger. <laughs> Witty Knit was Sand's favorite elf. Here I come, Santa Claus, or Santa Cross. Here I am. Poor Witty Knit. When he <laughs> was excited, his words tumbled out, all turned around. I can't find the reindeer, he said at last. There's Witty Knit. <laughs> then they heard the reindeer coming. Santa waited with his hands on his hips, but when he saw the little bear on Blitzen's back, he could only stare. As Blitzen told his story, Santa was thinking, this may be just the helper I need. He's so small, chimneys wouldn't stop him, and he may have a heart as big as his head. How I need a helper with a big heart. I will wait and let him speak for himself. I can ring the sleigh bell, said the little bear wistfully. I can. I can sing a Christmas song. And with that, he sang so gaily that the elves and dolls joined him. Over there. Yeah, put that spot right in there. Oh, okay. Several of the dolls fell off the sleigh, and the little bear stopped and helped them up again. Santa smiled and nodded his head until the bell on his cap rang a merry tune. May I ride in the sky with you and help you? asked the little bear. Indeed you may. Indeed you may. What's your name, little bear? I haven't any name. The little bear looked at his furry toes. Hmm. You're cuddly and cute, mighty cute. Hmm, <laughs> elves, get your trumpets, said Santa, and blow a fanfare. <laughs> do, 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 do. The clear air rang with a brassy tootleet, 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 toot. <laughs> I name you Cutie Bear, said Santa, and he swept the little bear up into his shoulder. Witty Knit jumped up and down and sputtered, Let's make Cutie the official misfit er <laughs> mask top, mo official mask ascot. You know what I mean, <laughs> mascot. <laughs> I've bigger things in mind for this young bear, said Santa. Santa climbed into the sleigh with Cutie Bear and the toys, and away they flew through the starry sky. There was only the faint jingle of sleigh bells in the quiet night. There will be chimneys, lots of chimneys, said Santa. 
Yes, chimneys, said Cutie Bear. He reached back, he reached back and picked up two clown dolls that were acting up in the back of the sleigh and brought them up onto the seat. <laughs> I am probably the happiest, jolliest person in all of Christmas, said Santa. The very merriest, said Cutie Bear. And do you know why? Because I have all this fun of giving, said Santa. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to share this fun with the boys and girls in every city. You will all be my right hand man. Cutie Bear listened carefully as Santa went on. You will start Santa's helpers clubs and make helpers out of every child that will bring some good used or unused toys to be distributed to less fortunate boys and girls. Put on this cap with the bell on top and this badge. You are now the first member of the Helper's Club. That's how it all began on a quiet night in the starry sky. Cutie Bear is Santa Claus's right-hand man. As Christmas comes around each year, he can be seen with his little nose as pink as a gumdrop passing out badges to new members of the Santa Helper's Club and helping children share their toys. See Santa's Helper Club? and Cutie's standing behind it. Sometimes he sings with the children the official song of the Helper's Clubs. I will always try to be bright and happy as Christmas tree. Always try to be real good as a Santa's helper should. I will promise to obey, do my best in every way. I will think of others too, not just today, but the whole year through. Santa can put on his slippers and rest a little now and then in his own kitchen, confident that with such good help, there will be a toy for every child at Christmas. Isn't that sweet? The end.